Hello, and welcome to Learning UML from O'Reilly with me, Simon Bennett. In this movie, I want to tell you about this course and what you can expect as you work your way through it. The first thing to say is that this is a practical course about UML, the Unified Modeling Language. It's practical because I'll be showing you how to draw the UML diagram step by step, and I'll be encouraging you to have a go yourself. The best way to learn about UML is to try it out. While I'll be explaining the notation of UML and how to draw the various diagrams, you'll get most out of the course if you have a go at drawing some of the diagrams yourself as we go along, and if you do the exercises. We'll be working with an example system and using UML to help us analyse and design that system. When you finish watching this movie, I suggest that you have a look at the description of the system with its basic requirements, which is provided in the working files that go with this course. In fact, you can pause the movie right now if you like and check that you've got the file. It's called examplesystem.pdf. The second thing to say is that most of the chapters in this course follow a similar pattern, and each of those chapters is about one particular diagram type in UML. First, I explain the purpose of that type of diagram. What's it intended to do? How do people use it? And what's the value of that particular type of diagram in real projects? Then I introduce the notation, starting with the basics and adding more detail as we go along. The basics should be enough for you to produce a simple diagram, and each movie in a chapter adds more detail. At the end of most movies, it's over to you. There are sample exercises in the working files for you to have a go at producing some diagrams yourself. Again, I would encourage you to try it out and then compare your solution with the sample solutions in the working files. We'll be using a modeling tool to produce the diagrams. There are lots of modeling tools out there and it's not possible to show all of them. The one I've chosen is Enterprise Architect from Spark Systems in Australia. I've been using Enterprise Architect for over 10 years, so it's the product I know best. As well as using it for modeling systems in UML, I also use it as an architect, modeling in Archimate, and as a business process modeler, modeling processes in business process modeling notation, or BPMN. It also includes several other notations. Enterprise Architect isn't too expensive, and there's a 30-day trial version that you could use with this course. There's more information about Enterprise Architect at www.sparksystems.com. For each topic that expects you to follow along and have a go at the exercises, there are two copies of the UML model, before and after. The first is before the work that I do in the movie, so you can use that if you want to follow along. The second is after the work I do in the movie, so you can use that if you didn't follow along but want to do the exercises. The before model for each topic incorporates the results of the exercises for the previous topic. There's no before model at the start, as you'll begin with empty model. If you aren't using Enterprise Architect, there's a copy of the model in XMI format, as well as in EA's EAP format. XMI is the standard model interchange format for UML, so other tools should be able to import it if they're compliant. This is a beginner's course. You may have come across a bit of UML before, or you may be a total novice. In eight hours, we can cover the main diagrams that are most widely used, but we won't be covering every aspect of the notation. Remember that the 80-20 rule applies here as in many other areas. You should be able to produce most of the diagrams that you need without needing to know every aspect of UML. And once you've got a good grasp of the basics, you should be able to pick up other diagrams and more advanced notation. The Object Management Group, which manages the UML standard, offers three levels of professional certification in UML. And the content of this course is roughly equivalent to the first level. That's the OMG Certified UML Professional Version 2 Foundation level. So that's a quick introduction to this course on learning UML. It's practical, it's based around the analysis and design of an example system, and it's pitched at beginners in UML. So why don't you have a look at that example system.pdf now, if you haven't already.